This procedure covers the repair and modification of printed boards and electronic assemblies by the use of jumper wires to complete electrical continuity between two points. This procedure is meant to provide a foundation for adding jumper wires during the repair or modification process. The techniques and guidelines are based on general commercial and industry practices. Jumper wires fall into three categories. 1. Those that are considered wires and are installed during assembly. The routing, termination, and bonding of these jumper wires are documented by engineering instructions or drawing notations. 2. Those that are added after assembly to effect a change or modification. The routing, termination, and bonding of these jumper wires are documented by engineering change notice instructions or drawing notations. And 3. Those that are added to correct a defect. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is intermediate. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. See the web page for a list of the tools and materials required to complete this procedure. General Rules 1. Jumper wires should be placed on the component side of the assembly or printed board unless otherwise specified. 2. Jumper wires shall be routed in an XY manner as directly as feasible, making as few bends as possible. 3. Jumper wires shall not be raised more than 3.2 mm above the board surface or not above components or leads in such a way that they will interfere with circuit board mounting. 4. Bare conductor jumper wires longer than 12.7 mm shall not be used. Bare conductor jumper wires shorter than 12.7 mm shall not violate the minimum electrical clearance. 5. Jumper wires may pass over lands provided sufficient slack is available so that the wire can be moved away from the land for component replacement. Jumper wires shall not pass over pads or vias used as test points. 6. Jumper wires shall not be routed under or over component leads or component bodies. Contact with heat sinks must be avoided. 7. Jumper wires shall not pass through component footprints unless the layout of the assembly prohibits the routing in other areas. 8. Jumper wires shall have stress relief. 9. Jumper wires may be routed through plated through holes, provided the wire is insulated and insulation sleeving is placed in the hole. 10. Jumper wires soldered into plated through holes must be discernible on the opposite side. 11. Jumper wires soldered to lifted or clipped component leads may require insulation to prevent shorting. 12. Jumper wires may be terminated by a variety of methods. See the web page for more detailed instructions and illustrations covering a wide range of jumper wire applications.